He's joined by Miss Jean Middleton and Miss Sharon. Quentin Allen, joined by his parents, Terry and Donna Allen. Tony Carr, Eric, Brian, and Monica Carr. Donovan Craig, joined by Barry Craig. Josh Day, Shannon Day, Tyler Einicker, and Kelsey Einicker, one of our managers, joined by parents Woody and Karen Einicker. Corey Ford, Corey is joined by Lori Ford. Kyle Frazier is joined by Kevin and Kathy Frazier. Sonny Gray, joined by Cindy Craig, sisters Jessica and Katie Gray, Sonny's father, the late Jesse Gray. Brandon Hendricks, joined by Tiana Hendricks. Jonah Hendricks, joined by John and Liz Hendricks. Alex Hill, joined by Blaine and Melanie Hill. James Hudson, his parents, Dale and Teresa Hudson. Brandon Girardo, joined by Lisa and Neil Girardo. Jeremy King, joined by Dayton, joined by Dayton and Diane Moore. Eddie Lalas, joined by Nanny and Nina Superset. Tanner Long, joined by Tracy Young and Scott Reynolds. Justin Martin, joined by Alicia and Larry Popper. Will Martin, joined by Shanita Beatty. Tyler Montgomery, joined by Stark Montgomery, Stuart Montgomery, and Velvet Williams. Donald Porter, joined by Laura Porter. David Sanders. Joined by David and Lori Sanders. Cassidy Spence. Joined with his parents, Kelly Murphy and Steve Spence. Kelly Thomason. Joined by David and Becky Thomason. Jesse Torres. Joined by Shelly and Lupe Torres. Rodriguez Wilkes. Joined by Randall and Patricia Payne. Adam Woodard. Joined by Alan and Kim Woodard. Also, our other manager, Sean Burns, joined by Patrick and Amy Burns. Ladies and
Captains at midfield, number 79, David Spurlock. For the Bulldogs, number 79, Tyler Montgomery. Number 21, Jonah Hendrick. Number 5, Rodriguez Wilkes. And number 2, Sonny Gray. They were joined by the rest of the seniors from the football team. Smyrna has won the toss and will defer to the second half. Laverne will receive. Riverdale will receive. Cut off quick and defend the North End zone. These are pretty good sized schools. Uh, we talk about Smyrna, 1,446 students, and over Riverdale, over 2,300. And you, you make a good point about you know kids being interested and wanting to play football. They probably dressed the freshman, the eighth grade, yeah. uh, everybody who wanted to come out here and put on a uniform tonight. And, and it's probably the highlight of their 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 um, career so far at, at both high schools. You know these eighth, these ninth graders and whatnot. They know they're not going to play probably. Maybe one or two of them will get in the game. But, you know, they're in the uniform, and, they, and they're, they're proud to wear that uniform. Probably out there dragging around during the, the pregame warm-ups, yeah. trying to get a little dirty. You know, Smyrna bleeds. They bleed <laughs> purple and gold. And Riverdale bleeds off-color red and white. Whatever <laughs> Guard, Guard and gold? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, Riverdale has broken its huddle. They're out there for the opening kickoff. Smyrna will do the same in just a moment. Riverdale, three shutouts on this season. Have scored 27 or more points, five straight games. You know, I was talking to one of the Riverdale coaches before the game tonight, and uh, he was he referred to one of his players as Palomalo. And I said, Palomalo? And he was like, C.J. Overton, number 37. I said, and I asked him, I said, what, does he have long hair or something? He said, yeah. And I'm just looking at him right now. He looks just like Troy Palomalo. From, from the back. Yeah. Maybe not quite as long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Adam Woodward will kick it off for Smyrna. Back deep for Riverdale to Quentin Sherrill and Jeremy McLean. The cricket game of the week, a big matchup, Region 4, 5A, undefeated Riverdale, 6-2 and two, Smyrna here at Smyrna High School. Smyrna breaks its huddle, again wearing the purple uniforms, Riverdale in all white. They spread out and ready to kick this thing off. Folks have been packed into the stands since about 5 or 5.30 this afternoon when they open the gates. The senior, Adam Woodward, moves in and we're underway. The kick is high, not too deep. 
will be taken at the 10-yard line by Cheryl. Brings it to the near side, trying to find some room. Smothered at the 15, and that's where Riverdale will start tonight. Down there on the coverage for Smyrna High School was Drew Garner making the tackle, and he is all fired up after making that play. Well, you mentioned the offense for Riverdale. Trey Smith, the senior quarterback, 5'10", 162 pounds, 99 carries for 626 yards and 10 touchdowns in the season. Not quite as much passing for this Riverdale outfit. 9 of 36 for 354 and four touchdowns through the air. He scored 60 points Smith has on the season. They bring it out on offense to get it started. Two wide outs to the near side. Single setback. They go in motion and hand it off to Jeremy McLean, taking it to the right side. Now cuts back toward the middle, and he'll pick up four or five yards on the first down play. The rest of the lineup for Riverdale. Up front, it's David Sumrall, David Spurlock, Travis Lilienthal, Michael Pope, and Chase Patterson. The tight end, Alex Farley. The split end, Chris Murphy. In the backfield, Jeremy McLean, Josh Van Hoos. And uh, also see Paul Boykin and Aaron Abalarosa in the backfield. It was a gain of eight on the first down play. Second and two football at the 24 as Riverdale works on offense in this first series of the game. Man in motion going right to left. They keep it on the ground. The handoff right up the middle. Having the first down is Josh Van Hoos out across the 30-yard line and down at the 33. Picks up nine on the play. You know, Riverdale runs what they call the wing T. And there was a little misdirection, but they handed the ball to, to Van Hoos right up the middle. It's a good run by Van Hoos. First and 10, Riverdale football spotted at the 33. Right out to the far side. I think they send Chris Murphy out there across the field. Now going in motion. Pitch at the last moment goes to the right. Across the 35 and down at the 36. Good defense by Smyrna on that play. Carrying the football that time. Jeremy McLean, on the pitch. Jeremy McLean trying to pick up the number there early in the game here. Cody Hager. Cody Hager makes a stop to junior. Defense for Smyrna up front. Nick Richardson, Tyler Eady, Dakota Woods, and Jeremy King. The linebackers, Deion Meadows and Drew Garner. The corners, Jonah Hendricks and David Sanders. The safety is Will Martin, Andrew Jenkins, and Cody Hager, the free safety. Gain of three. Second and seven. Football at the 36-yard line. Under center, it is Trey Smith. Takes the handoff. Smith keeps it himself across the 40 to the 41 before being stopped. You know, in, in order to defend this this type of, of offense, you really have to be deep, um, you have to be disciplined, and you have to read your keys. Um, you know, or else you'll get burned. Because Trey Smith is the type of quarterback that he reads the defense, and he's going to make the right decision with the ball at all times. We have a number change for Riverdale. There's a number seven in there, and there's not a number seven on the roster, so we're going to have to check that. Smith under center. It is third and one. Hand off this time to McLean. He'll have the first down tackled at the 45. McLean, number seven is Oberosa. Okay, Abelarosa. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron Abelarosa. Okay, well, he started out as seven. I was told he was 19, and so he's back to being seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of the tricky things about doing high school football. First and 10 at the 45, nine and a half to play first period. No score. Opening drive for the Warriors of Riverdale against Smyrna High School. Split to the near side. It is Josh Tao for the Warriors of Riverdale. Single setback. McLean goes in motion. The hand in the football runs right. Looking for running room at midfield, and he'll be into Smyrna territory, I believe, before being stopped at around the 49-yard line of Smyrna. Went out of bounds. No, he didn't. Stayed in. You know, I think that is the most used um, running play in all of Middle Tennessee right there. It seems like every game we've done, yes. we've seen that particular play. Man goes in motion, gets the handoff all in one motion, basically. And I think it's a great play because the guy is already in motion. He hands it off, so he has a full head of steam. So, you know, he gets outside fast. I, I like the play. It'll be second and four after a six-yard gain. Football at the Smyrna 49-yard line. Smith fakes the handoff, gives coming the other way as McLean goes to the right, near a first down at the 45 of Smyrna. McLean on the handoff. In there again for Smyrna High School, Dakota Woods, and also Hendricks making the play. And they're going to measure. I think he has it. Yeah, it looks Football like from here he has it. On the 45, 44 yard side of the 45 yard line. And. They'll bring out the chains, but I think he's going to have it by about at least half a football. You called it. 
First down, Riverdale. It'll be another first down for the Warriors. That's three of them already on this drive. 8-19 to play first period. And that's what this team does. Riverdale does. They they grind and they get a first down. They get three here, four there, seven there. You know, that's their, that's their style of play. And they're going to shorten up the game as much as possible with this run game. Yeah. You know, they're probably they're trying to, um, and they will limit the possessions on offense that Smyrna will have with this type of um, clock maintenance. Murphy split to the left. Single setback of Valarosa behind quarterback Tyler Smith. McLean goes in motion. Didn't get a clean handoff, but McLean takes it again. Goes to the right. Uh -oh. Has a first down and more. 30, 25, 20, and tackled inside the 15-yard line. Big gain right there for Jeremy McLean. The senior has set up Riverdale inside the Smyrna red zone. And see, that's what I was talking about. You really have to be disciplined on defense because this type of offense can expose you if you're not disciplined. They will put the football down on the 11 or 12 yard line of Smyrna. Call it the 12, first and 10. First real scoring opportunity on the first drive of the night for the Warriors of Riverdale. Quarterback Trey Smith working under center, sends a man in motion, it's McLean. Fakes the handoff and gives to Paul Boykin. Takes it left and runs into a wall of Smyrna defenders. Paul Boykin on the handoff. Led Big by Tyler, Tyler Eady. Eady. Yep, 6'2", 280 pounds. The junior making the stop. Picked up three. Make it second and nine. Second and seven, call it, at the nine-yard line. Yeah, Big Tyler, he's a big, big old boy. <laughs> Dakota Woods isn't exactly small. 6'2", yeah. 260. Tyler Montgomery, 5'8", 284. We'll also see action in there in the middle. Coming in motion this time of Valarosa, but they give it to McLean. It opens up right up the middle and a tackle to save a touchdown after a gain by McLean. And I think that was number 31. Drew Garner, the sophomore, making the stop coming over from the Will linebacker position. Neon Meadows and Drew Garner on the stop. It's going to bring up third and short. It's going to be at the three yard line. They'll call it third and two. Third and two. At the three yard they can get a first down without getting a touchdown. The, they have to make it to the one-yard line for the first. Big third down play with 6.17 to play in the opening period. Boykin in motion to the near side. Handed off to McLean right up the middle and into the end zone. Touchdown, Riverdale. Three-yard run for McLean. The Warriors are on the board first. And that is a typical Riverdale drive for a score. Um, just churn, you know, just pound, pound, pound. Jeremy McLean. And, you know, the big run, the big 25-yard run by, by, by Jeremy McLean was what really did him in on that drive. And they chewed up almost half of the first yeah. quarter doing it. On to attempt the extra point. It's Quinn Beckwith. Three of four on extra points last week. Set in the kick. Up and good. Seven nothing.
The ball is marked at the 21 yard line, first and 10, the third Riverdale.
Marcus seven on the play. Third and 26 at the 26 yard line. As he's on the return. Number 15, Cody Ross on the stop. Number 15, Cody Ross on the return.
Larry Penas intercepted by number 23, Joseph Brown. Tackle made by number five, Rod Wilk. Down is on the 29-yard line of Riverdale, first down 10. Josh Van Hoos on the carry. Down made by Kyle Frazier and Drew Joyner. A short game on the play, second and nine at the 30 yard line. Jeremy McLean on the handoff. Tackle made by 59, Wesley Cadena. And number three, David Sanders. Good for a first down loaded at the 39 yard line for Riverdale. McLean on the handoff. Third race, Dion Meadows on the tackle. Number 20, the Clinton Sparrow on the pit. Taken down by number 38, Dion Meadows. Yeah, 46 yard run by Sparrow. Moves the ball down to the 12 yard line of Turner. First and First and ten for the Warriors of Riverdale. They lead this game 10 0. They win that wing tee. Trey Smith under center. Single set back to Balarosa. McLean in motion. They give it to Balarosa up the middle. Check that. It's Josh Van Hoos. Josh Van Hoos inside the 10 yard line. Tackle that. On their heels right now. They're going to really have to dig in the trenches here and, and, and make a stop. Force them to kick a field goal. You know, if they get, if they can hold them to a field goal, that would be something big. Yeah, and it looked like they've been making some progress uh, that big, towards the end of the first period. Yeah, but that big run just put them on their heels. Second and six, at the eight yards. Six man front for Smyrna. Liberty with it. Second and six at the six. And uh, goes to Jeremy McLean, and he has stopped. And, Around the four yard line, looked like he picked up three on the play. Yeah. And they're to the five, so Meadows another tackle for Smyrna. You know, as I stated earlier, really, this offense is really hard to defend. I remember playing against an offense like this in high school, and you just, sometimes you don't even know who, where the ball is. That's kind of the hardest part, is identifying the ball carrier. Where right? the ball, yeah, and then you have to make the cap tackle. And by the time you try to make the tackle, the ball is past you. 34 at the six. Coming in motion and taking the hand off as McLean looks for the end zone, lowers his shoulder and gets down to the two. He'll be near the first down, but he won't have enough, and it'll be decision time for Riverdale. Getting the offense on the field. You might as well if you're yeah. Riverdale, because if you don't make it, 
Don't lose too much. Officials will take a time out. I think they, are they going to measure this thing? It doesn't look very close. It's a band show. I guess they need it half a yard short, look like. Well, they'll bring out the chains, but I may be wrong, but I don't think they they got enough. 10-0-1 to play, first half. 10-0 Riverdale leading, and now the measurement will be well short. Yeah, They're about a yard short. <laughs> I'm not sure why they even brought the chains out for that particular measurement, but gives these two teams a chance to talk about what they want to do. Riverdale short on the first down. That should bring up fourth down and one. Football. At the three of Smyrna. Maybe one of the lines was crooked and they didn't yeah. really <laughs> Maybe tell. Maybe so. They adjusted the pylon <laughs> over on the other side. I think it was actually at about at the one yard line. Right. Here we go, fourth and one at the three for Riverdale. A big test for Smyrna. Taking the football and the quarterback sneak for Smith. We'll see if he Ooh. got it. Looks like they're giving him enough yardage for the first down. They stacked him up. The pile fell to the left, and I think Smith's going to have enough. You know, Trey Smith got behind that big offensive line of his, and he just rode the wave on onto the first down. I don't know if he has it or not, but, I, yeah, he does have it. So it'll be first and goal from the line. First down, Riverdale. You know, it's a luxury to have a really big offensive, big and strong, powerful, good first offensive goal. line. Nine first downs for Riverdale already, all of them on the ground. Mm -hmm. Jeremy McLean, 15 carries for 98 yards already in this game. JT keeping the stats tonight for us. First and goal from the one, 9.25 to play, second quarter. Smith under center, sends a man in motion, hands it off, up the middle, touchdown Riverdale. That one was Aaron Abalarosa. Yeah. One yard and makes it a 16-0 game in favor of Riverdale, or did he? Yep, 16-0. Aaron Abalarosa. Now they put the points up. Beckwith to attempt the extra point. Trey Smith will hold. Beckwith on to attempt his second point after. He's also made a field goal from 38 yards. Kick is up and through. And with 9.16 to play in the first half, it's 17-0 in favor of Riverdale here at Smyrna. We'll take a break as well. The Cricket Game of the Week here on 104.5 The Zone. At the tone right there. You know, if Smyrna would have went over and knocked that little tunnel down, then they wouldn't be this predicament. Well, they were too busy making their own tunnel over here. <laughs> but, you know, Smyrna has to put some points on the board soon. Wilkes, the deep man for the Bulldogs of Smyrna High School. The kick. the kick. Wilkes will come up to the 15 and make the catch. Run to the right. Wilkes across the 20, 25. He, he is by gone. himself. 40 midfield. Wilkes he on his way. 35, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. 85 yard return for Rodriguez Wilkes. And just like that, Smyrna's on the board. 17 to 6. Wow. That was fast. Woo, he got to the outside and was down there in a hurry. And, and, you know, he's a big he's a big kid, too. You know, this is not some five, six, you know, 135-pound guy. You know, this this guy is 6'2", 215 pounds. He went 85 yards in 15 seconds. Man, that's, a, that's fast to be that big. On you know, to attempt the point after is Adam Woodward can make it a 10-point game if he can make the PAT, and now the officials stop play for a moment. Well, Wilkes said, scored 11 touchdowns rushing and adds to that total with a big run back for a TD, and now Ron Adelot will call a TO. We'll keep it right here. You know, as the saying goes, big-time players make big-time plays. Give him some a lift. For every Bulldog touchdown tonight. Adam Woodward, a senior, Special transferred from Cascade, also does the punting duties for this Smyrna team. No, 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 I want to. Buddy, you're, you're spending some money. Awaiting the snap is Sonny Gray. Calls for it, puts it down. The kick is up, and it is good. 17 to 7, 901 to play in the first period. Smyrna on the board with an 85-yard kickoff return by Rod Wilkes for a touchdown. And all of a sudden there's some pep in Smyrna's step. 
is McLean and Cheryl deep for the Warriors. Ball in the air. Looks like it's going to go Cheryl's direction. He takes it at the three-yard line. Across the 10, the 15 running to the left, looking for room out near the 20-yard line and shut down. No, he's not. Still on his feet and tackled back around the 10. He was pushed back after having the football near the 20. On the coverage for Smyrna was Kyle Frazier. That was a good kickoff coverage by Smyrna. Pin Riverdale inside. Just right up, right around the 11 yard line. It will be first and 10 from the 11. Riverdale brings its offense onto the field where it seems like they've been this entire first half. 8.50 to play in the second quarter, 17 to 7. Riverdale with a 10 point advantage after a Smyrna touchdown. Big kickoff return by Rod Wilkes. On the ground, it is Trey Smith. Fake the handoff, ball on the ground, and picked up by hey, Smyrna. That's one. With the recovery, it was Will Martin getting in there to pick up the football. Went through a couple different hands after Trey Smith put it on the ground, and inside the red zone of Riverdale will be the Bulldogs of Smyrna. That's one. They're halfway there. They need to, you know, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to have to get at least two of those. And this is... A great time for, for a turnover for Smyrna because they just scored a touchdown. They get the ball on Riverdale's 12-yard line going in. Spot the ball on the 13-yard line. First and 10. They will put it on the 13. Smyrna brings out its offense. Riverdale will have to hold first trip inside the red zone tonight for the Bulldogs. Two wides both ways. McLean, in, or Bryson, I should say, in the backfield with Sonny Gray. Bryson will get the handoff after the snap out of the shotgun. Won't get much of anything on the first down carry. Stepping up there in the middle, DeAndre Miller to make the stop. 5'9", 261 pounds, and put the hurt on Bryson as he safe to say he has took a it low, on the ground. Safe to say he has a low center of gravity, huh? <laughs> no huddle offense for Smyrna. Gain of one, second and nine at the 12 for Sonny Gray. Out of the gun. Awaits the snap, a little movement on the Riverdale side of the football, but everybody's staying put. Now Gray, looks like he's changing the play. Looked down to his play sheet, now backs up after telling everybody what he wants and including Bryson in the backfield. Takes a snap, looks to throw, scrambles right. We'll keep it on the ground. Look to throw all the way to the last minute. We'll dive out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. You know, Sonny showed a lot of athleticism on that run. Stayed in. And long distance from where we are. We apologize. It will be uh, around the six or seven yard line. I think you got to take a shot here with Rodriguez Wilkes. Single coverage over it. At the six yard line. Third and three at the six after a six yard gain on the run by Gray. High formation for Smyrna. Brandon Hendricks, a fullback. Gray fakes the handoff. That's not going anywhere. He is trying to scramble and get anything he can. But Riverdale, a good defensive play right there by Alex Smithson, broke right through the middle and put the hit on Gray before he could get things rolling. Yeah, there was a little confusion in the backfield. You know, I think Sonny Gray thought he was handing it off, and the, the fullback thought otherwise. Yeah, he had Brandon Hendricks uh, in there at fullback, and Bryson lined up behind him. Still, you know, if they can get a field goal out of this, if they could make this field goal, that still would be something positive, and that'll put them one step closer, Woodard seven points NBA down. So on fourth down, they will bring in Adam Woodard to Woodward to attempt the field goal. 22 yards on this attempt with six minutes and 30 seconds to play in the first half. The set, the kick. It's on its way, and it's no good. Wide to the right. Wow. Woodward couldn't make it. Would have made it a four-point game, but as it is, it stays 17 to 7 in favor of Riverdale. 624 to play first half. We'll take a timeout. The cricket game of the week on 1045 the zone. Go green and get some green with Old Hickory Credit Union. With green checking, trees will thank you immensely because your statement is sent via email. And if you sign up for green checking, you'll get a one hundred dollar cash bonus with direct deposit of five hundred dollars or more each month. Free ATM, free overdraft protection from OHCU savings, free ATM card and no monthly service charge and no minimum balance. Going green and getting green with green checking from Old Hickory Credit Union. Finally, a checking account worth switching banks for. Visit us online for more info at ohcu.org. Old Hickory Credit Union, member NCUA. 
The best tasting chicken is at Chicken Nick's on Carruthers Parkway in Cool Springs. Whether it's hand breaded and southern fried, marinated and southern grilled, wings prepared seven ways, chicken sandwiches, salads, or wraps, you'll agree Chicken Nick's is the best tasting chicken around. Plus, there are 12 sides to choose from. If it's lunch on the run or a relaxing dinner, Chicken Nick's offers quick service and a warm, friendly atmosphere. Chicken Nick's on Carruthers Parkway in Cool Springs across from Baker's Bridge Road. Quick dining and catering at its best. 104.5 The Zone. George Blaster, afternoons 3 to 7. The Zone. Our cricket game of the week finds us at Smyrna High School with Riverdale leading Smyrna 17 to 7. It is second down for Riverdale. They ran a run play up the middle on first down and now take it to the right side with Jeremy McLean on second and eight. Jeremy McLean. They'll get the football out to the 27-yard line and that will bring up third and short. And this is a big third down for Smyrna. I mean, it's a big third down for Riverdale also. But Smyrna, it'd be a good time for them to, to make a play and force them to punt the ball. Third and two at the 28-yard line. Riverdale with the football, leading 17-7 with 5.14 to play in this first half. Riverdale has really controlled the time of possession, but Smyrna getting a score on a kickoff return. McLean takes the handoff across the 30, and looks like he'll have enough for a first down as they give him progress to the 33. Yes. Another first down for Riverdale. They move the chains, first and 10 at the 33-yard line. Under five minutes to play first half, 10-point advantage for the Warriors. Undefeated at 8-0. Smyrna comes in to play tonight at 6-2. Wide out to the near side for Riverdale is Josh Tao, man in the slot as well. A lot of confusion. Backing up the throw with Smith. Fires down his, intended for Tao. And it'll be caught. He's got him. He is down inside the 20 yard line. First pass play of the night for Riverdale, and it works to perfection. Smith's pass complete. Number eight. And you know, it works to perfection because they've been running the ball all night. They did a little run fake. Everybody bit up. Somewhere in the vicinity of 49 <laughs> yards on that play from the 33 all the way down to the 13-yard line of Smyrna. Pass and catch. And the Warriors in business. Smyrna first and 10 for Riverdale. Smith did not throw a completion last week. 0 for 2 in their victory against Wilson Central, but 1 for 1, and it was a big one already tonight. Big one. Handoff goes to Van Hoos. Works it inside the 15 and down at the six-yard line of Smyrna. On the bottom of that pile for the Bulldogs was Kelly Thomason, the senior. Four minutes to play first half, 17-7 to seven Riverdale. On the carry. And once again, Riverdale has Smyrna on, on their heels again. Five yards on the first down carry by Van Hoos. It'll be second and five at the 12. Van Hoos, the single setback. Wing T formation for Riverdale. And out wide to the left is Chris Murphy. On the ground, it's McLean inside the five. Ball is loose. Ball is loose again. Penalty marker down as well to go with the beanbags, and they'll call it a touchdown. I guess they said it came loose after McLean got it into the end zone, yeah. so a 12-yard carry for a touchdown. Second TD of the night for Jeremy McLean. Touchdown. Warriors. And that makes it 23-7. Just like that. You know, that was a big swing. You know, that. that onto a tip the extra yeah, boy, that, the surprise of that pass play <laughs> really set things up for Riverdale. It really did. You know, they've been running the ball all night, and they played a, ran a play action. Beckless point after it hits the left upright and is no good. So Smyrna catches a little bit of a break. 23 to 7 is the count. Three over 600 yards rushing on the year. And has picked up roughly 250 of that in a game and a half. Yeah, and he's peaking at the right time. This is the time of year you want to peak the latter, latter part of the season going into the playoffs. Wilts the deep man for Smyrna. They kick it on the ground. Wilts will come up and take the bouncing football. No, he won't. Will be one of the up men for the Bulldogs of Smyrna. I believe that was Jenkins. Jenkins on the return. Returns it to the 39-yard line, and that's where Smyrna will begin. Wilson was going to just wait and let the football come to him. Jenkins said, ah, give me that thing. No sense of giving him five more yards of cover.
Jeremiah Bryson on the handoff. Hello, Bryson. My name is DeAndre Miller. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slobber knocker. Freshman meets senior. Oh, my God. Senior wins. That might have been the best hit I've seen all, all year in high school football. Second and 12 at the 37 for Smyrna. Two wides left, one right. Again, eye formation for Sonny Gray. Worked out of the shotgun for most of their first couple series, but under center now. Four-man front for Riverdale. Hands it off. Short gain across the 40-yard line to the 41. David Sanders taking the carry. On the handoff. The senior, 5'7", 165 pounds. You know, I'm surprised they haven't thrown the ball to Rodriguez Wilkes. Yeah. Um, He's one of those guys who you have to figure out a way to get the yeah, football in his hands, you, you know, whether it's a short pass or whatever. you, know, you work something in motion to get it to him. At the 41 yard line. Run a screen. <laughs> Sonny Gray will now work out of the shotgun. Flanked by Hendricks and Sanders in the backfield. Takes the pass out of the gun. Short drop, throws over the middle. Good it throw. is caught for a first down. Cody Hager Good inside throw. Riverdale territory and tackled at the 44. Cody Hager. Joseph Grimes. Under two minutes to play in the first half. 23-7 Riverdale, but Smyrna trying to put something together before they go to the locker room. That was a much-needed completion by Sonny Gray. Good throw, good step up, good delivery. Hager has caught 20 balls for 133 yards and a touchdown on the season. The junior, 160 pounds, six foot one. First and 10 at the 43 yard line of Riverdale. Under center, Gray fakes the handoff, play action, throws over the middle. It is tipped and almost picked off by Riverdale. The ball is tipped by one of the linebackers and McLean was back there diving to try to get the football at the 23. Yeah, that was almost picked off twice. The history had a little flat and the linebackers got a hand on it, tipped it up, and it almost became a tip drill. You mentioned early on that C.J. Overton uh, bears a little resemblance to Troy Palomalo. Yeah, you see him he out does. There and he does. He's with that hair, man, that hair is you know, you know, with with the success of Troy Palomalo, everybody that plays with long hair now, that's who they're going to refer to. That would have been a good look for you, Derek. No, 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 no. <laughs> 90 seconds to play in the first half, 23-7 to 7, Riverdale, second and 10 at the 43 of the Warriors. Smyrna with Sonny Gray standing on the midfield logo. Here comes the blitz. Gray rolls left, got rid of the football in time. It is incomplete. Unable to come up with the ball was Rod Wilkes at the 30, and... He's played a little patty cake with it before it went out of bounds. Over there on the coverage was LeBron Lawrence. You know, nine times out of ten, he would come down with that pass. I think he, he sort of just took it, took his eyes off the ball. Or he could have gotten alligator arms also. You know, he saw a defender coming to hit him. Paul Boykin was coming yeah, and he from was the blind exposed. side on the blitz, yep. <laughs> Minute 23 to go, third and ten at the 43. Gray from the gun. As Sanders back there with him in the backfield to his right. Two wides left and two right, and either a penalty or a timeout. The officials confer. Yeah, there is a penalty marker down on the near side of the field. I think it's going to be against Smyrna, it looks like, the way they're moving. Procedure call against the Bulldogs. That's tough. Third and 10 becomes third and 15. You know, they did convert on the last um, first down. On, it was a third down. They converted. It wasn't third and 15, but it was a conversion. So maybe they can pull this one off also. Keep an eye on Rod Wilkes. He's lined up to the near side. Riverdale was showing some press coverage. Now we'll give him a little cushion. Gray now back there by himself after sending Sanders to the right. High snap. Gray comes down with it. Backs up the throw. Has plenty of time. Fires over the middle. The pass Ooh. is incomplete. Intended. I think that was Hager again. Yeah, that was intended, intended for Hager. You know, Check that. Was, that. I think it was Will Martin. Great pass intended for was Will Martin. Is it? Yes, Will Martin. You know, it was a good throw, and I think the throw was there, but Axel Watson for Riverdale stepped in and made a, a good play. He, he knocked the ball out of out of his hands. Axel's a good name for a safety, isn't he? <laughs> Punt time. Nope, it won't be. Fourth and 15. They were showing like they were going to go for it. Smyrna did. Now the officials... Blow things dead. Official timeout. 
Well, coming up at halftime, we'll send it back to the studio. Chad and Jonathan will get you up to date on what's on, what all's going on around the Mid-State and high school football tonight. Fourth and 15, and Smyrna will go for it near midfield. Sonny Gray in the shotgun. Flanked by his running backs. Awaits the snap. It's going to be a long one now. He's going to kick it. Gray also does the bunning duties. A little Rich short kick. kick and will roll out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Stayed in and was down by Cody Hager over on the far side of the field. So Riverdale will have the ball in a minute five left in the first half. First and ten. The Warriors leading this one 23 to 7. A pair of first half touchdowns by Jeremy McLean from three and from 12. Rod Wilkes providing the only scoring for Smyrna tonight on an 85 yard kickoff return for a TD at the 901 mark of the second quarter. And I think uh, Riverdale will be content to keep the ball on the ground here. I don't think they will. Don't think they'll any, put it up? No, I don't think they're attempting any passes here. I think with their running game, they have just as good a chance of scoring as they do, you know, passing. Well, Trey Smith's only pass attempt of the night set up their last touchdown. They'll hand it off. Keeping the football on the ground, it's Van Hoos. They make it a Ballarosa. Clock under a minute. Gain six on the first down play. We'll bring up second four. You know, at this pace, their running game, they will probably have over 300 yards rushing tonight at this pace. McLean was already over the 120-yard mark last time we checked. At the 21-yard line. Ball's at the 21. Actually got nine on that first down play, making it second and one. Under center is Smith. Sends McLean in motion, hands the football off. It is Van Hoos this time, and we'll get it across the 25 and have the first down for Riverdale. Clock stops with 21 seconds left to play. You know, what Smyrna has to do here is they have to make sure that they wrap up because, you know, one of these running backs, you give them a break and they're gone just like that. And, you know, you don't want a, another touchdown right before the half. Clock rolls with 14 seconds left in the half. Likely be the last play of this first half. And I don't think they're even going to run it. It's like Rod Adelot will say, or Ron Adelot, I should say, will say that's enough for this yeah. first 24 minutes of football, and Riverdale will go to the locker room leading it 23-7. to seven. Riverdale, Smyrna, our cricket game of the week, a 4-5-A matchup between the undefeated Warriors of Riverdale and the 6-2 and two Bulldogs. Number 5, Rod Rick. Number 13, Andrew Dickens. And number 3, David Sanders. Number 30, Quinn Betcher to pick. Betcher to pick is covered by number 32, Kelly Thomason. He covers the pick at the 25 yard line. Put it down there. First three three for the Bulldogs. Intended for Jeremiah Bryson. It's incomplete.
11 yards on the run by Gray. Good for a bank of the South Bama on first down. Great pass intended for number eight, Cody Hagar. The pass is incomplete. Second and ten at the 23. First one up. Tony Gray on the carry. Tony oh. Gray, 36 at the 19 yard line. Third with the sack of Gray. Come on, dogs, let's go! Eight yard loss, fourth and 13 at the 27 yard line. Rice on the handoff. 
Shot by Bird and Ebene Rosa. And number 10, Tyler Sink. Loss of one, the second and 11 at the Warriors 13 yard line. It's a two-point conversion. against Riverdale is the time. Put the ball on the 23 yard line. First and four and four on the ball. will stop the play. Good by procedure against the Bulldogs. Five on the penalty. Still first down at the 20 yard line. on the field, 92 birds on the stop.
Turn of two. Second and 12 at the 25 yard line. Penny pass intended for number 84 of Jesse Perez, who is incomplete. Every up third and 12. First one.
Rangers on the third. Trevor Thomason on the tackle for a smash. Headwiser in second and six at the 24 yard line. On the field, for the Bulldogs. Through the Buffalo Lexus, a successful season campaign, the Round Point Nine after him will be broadcasting the game. Thank you. 
Taylor will get the blue bag. A first match. A five round carry. It's the match on the first round. First and ten over there at the 19 yard line. Great pass intended for Sanders is incomplete. LeBron Lyons signed the coverage for Riverdale. Third and seven at the 37 yard line. First bank bid on checking. Open your account today. The first bank will donate just $10 to Tomorrow High School. Second and ten for
Madison's intercepted by number 23, Jason Dry. Good night. The Patriots 
against Tavidor, five yard penalty. Moving back to the 33, first and 15, it's a little over there. Right down, first and ten at the 13-yard line. Over the Rosa on the handoff. Deion Meadows on the shot. Three out of game. Second and seven at the 11 yard line.
Three to the flag, John Brooks, Sanders, and Jenkins. This is the kick. The round is the result of these. Third and 15 on the 30-yard line. Thank you. 